That's taller than I thought. Sophie, Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Dear God. If they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. The tower is mined. Try to disarm the charges. Detonated, Jack. No, we were supposed to take tribute. Just collect money. Jack, give it back. They'll get what they deserve. They will die. Jack, I'm warning you. Got it. And the water is safe.
After all, I'm gonna give you a firework. <sighs> of course, the fuck is up. Either the bizarre jag holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Man, we lost it. We can't fight everyone. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Stop! Or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear! I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the Pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a Pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I can get you out of town. But first, I have my own business to take care of. You need to hide somewhere and wait. Sounds like a huge risk. No risk, no gain. He's lying, Jack. There's no other way. Fuck! I don't like it. I fucking don't. But okay. We'll be waiting for you in the tunnels near the Tango Motel. We'll give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now give me the detonator, Jack. Smart guy. Who gets control of the water?
Back on. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Any other cities still standing? Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. You can go search Barney's stuff. The coast is clear now. Is this some kind of collector or what? Oh, this place is a pigsty. Here's something. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm, oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We tell Aitor and... Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko? Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <sighs> 
No one will miss one lousy pilgrim. Gonna kill you, traitor! Take that! You're done for, Aiden! Gotcha! Hakon can't save! Stop it! What's going on here, for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? Uh, of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death, or when he was still alive. You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't, but your crazy brother... Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to aid her. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ador doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. That seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here.